We have to ask ourselves, what on earth is going on? I think the best place to find an answer is from information recently released by five paediatric clinicians from Westmead Children's Hospital in Sydney. And these five clinicians have released information from a study of 79 children that was taken over a five year period. And what we notice is this, we've got children as young as nine in stage one of gender reassignment. That means that they are basically blocking puberty. We got children as young as 15 on cross sex hormones. Of course, the third stage would be to be able to have gender reassignment surgery and the removal of healthy body parts. But let's take a look at just this nine year old and this 15 year old in stages one and two. There are incredible risks that are linked with puberty blockers and cross sex hormones. One of those is complete and utter sterilization. Another one is the increase of various cancers. And a third area, and this is very serious, is an increase of the suicidal ideation that was already present within that young person. Now, what they've also noticed is that these children, and they are children, were given no access to trauma-informed therapy. And what happened is that there was a number of comorbid factors that were underneath their gender dysphoria that needed to be untangled. Some of these were anxiety, were depression, was again suicidal ideation, as well as sexual abuse. Over 60% of these 79 children had got serious anxiety and depression in their lives. For many of them, they'd never been able to resolve some of the conflict and distress that they had over a long-term period with significant relationships in their lives. And for many of them, that meant their own parents. We have to ask ourselves, why have these comorbid factors not been dealt with before the medicos go ahead and start handing out puberty blockers and also these cross-sex hormones?